The smarter our intellectuals become, the more cowardly they become. I know some great black minds, you know, great minds. But that paycheck is going to dictate what's going to come out of that mind. I'll come out your mouth of that mind. Now, feeding your family is way more important than speaking the truth to a people that's going to treat you like they did Dr. King. Mm. If there was a reward to speaking truth, more people would. Indeed. Hey, Shalom, I'm Akim. I'm going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this word and Shalom to the elect because that's who these lessons are for. Okay? So, uh, you know, you brothers are well aware of what's going on, the whole Nick Cannon situation. If you're not, you know, uh, Nick Cannon got fired. Uh, you know, he had a show. Uh, Wild and Out, you know, very popular show, and he got fired by the company that, uh, the pretty much the broadcasting uh, company that the uh, the show aired on, Nova Nova um, uh, something to that effect, man. I forget the name of the company that uh, that owned it, but it's the information is out there. You can definitely check it out, okay. But going into this interview he did with KRS One. You know, KRS once said if there was a reward for teaching truth, more people would do it. Well, see, a lot of Jakes out there are uninformed because there is a reward, okay, for speaking this truth, man. And Yahweh Shah spoke about that. This is uh, Revelation 22 and 12. It reads, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work shall be. Okay? So, there is a reward, man. There's a reward for continuing on in the faith. There's a reward for teaching this truth, man. And, uh, there's many different various scriptures to go into it, man. Because, you know, being on this earth teaching this truth is what, you know, certain men were born to do. You know? You can't choose to do the work of the Lord. You can't choose to be a prophet. It's something that, you know, the Heavenly Father chooses for you, you know? Just like the Lord chooses every man's uh, path, you know, in this society. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 16. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in the gates and that's what we do when we go out there on the highways and byways to bring out this word man we are speaking the truth okay we speaking the truth to our neighbor you so called negroes latinos and native americans we're teaching the truth unto you man you israelites man I'm gonna look up that word neighbor bail me for one moment here Okay. It says it's from the Hebrew word ra'ah. It says down here in the outline of biblical usage, it says friend, companion, fellow, another person, friend, intimate. It says fellow, fellow citizen. All right? Another person. All right? Weaker sense. It says other. It says another. All right? So pretty much you get the gist of it, man. And it also says here, fellow citizen. Now, like we always say, Israel is a people before it's a place. So we are teaching the word unto, you know, fellow citizens of Israel, man. We're teaching this truth unto you. And there's a reward for us doing what we're doing. Don't think that we're just aimlessly doing what we're doing. Because Yahweh Hashem Shah promised us a reward, man. And the men that endure unto the end, they are who are going to receive that reward. Okay? I got a few more scriptures here. Um, I'm going to go to the book of Matthews, uh, the 16th chapter. And uh, the 27th verse. Let me scroll down here. It says here, 
for the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels see that's talking about the return of the one whom the world ignorantly calls jesus christ now he came uh which his name is yahweh shai okay and the name of the most high is yahweh all right which yahweh shai came two thousand some odd years ago all right and um he came as a lamb okay but in this day and age, all the prophecies are happening that's, that's showing that the Lord's return is near. He's going to come as a lion this time, okay? And when it says he's going to come with that glory, that means he's going to come with that, that angelic power, with the so-called UFOs, the chariots. He's going to make a hell of an entrance, man, all right? And what I just, that's really like an understatement when I say he's going to make a hell of an entrance. It's going to be, you know, a worldwide event, man, Okay? You know, all eyes, every eye shall see, every ear shall hear, okay, and every knee shall bow, okay? It says, and then he shall reward every man according to his works, okay? So that's the time that's coming, man. We're going to get a reward for teaching this truth, brothers, okay? Don't think we're just doing this thing aimlessly, man, because the Heavenly Father has not forgotten, man, all right? scriptures tell you it's right here this is uh hebrews 6 and 10 for the most high is not ignorant to forget your work and labor of love which he have showed towards his name see that name is very important man that's why we praise the name of yahweh and the name of yahweh shai man okay it says in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister who are the saints those fellow citizens, those Israelites that we're teaching, okay, on the highways and hedges that are, that are uh, listening on, on the uh, internet, you know, on the comment boards, so on and so forth, man. Those are who we are um, ministering unto, man. Okay, beginning with the apostles and elders, and other men have come into this uh, this work, man, and do labor. All right, and we all gonna receive that same penny, which is the kingdom of heaven, man. Now, let's go to that in the book of Matthew, the 20th chapter. All right. And I could actually start at the top, but I'm going to, um, you know, read through it kind of uh, expeditiously. Uh, it reads here, For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard and he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them go ye also into the vineyard and whatsoever is right I will give you and they went in and they went their way again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise and about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man has hired us. He said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard said, saith unto the steward, Call the laborers. And give them their hire, beginning with the last unto the first. And when they came, and when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. All right? And you brothers could go into it, which I'm pretty sure most of you have read this. You know, but that this is symbolic representing the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay. Now, there is going to be, you know, a payment for this labor that we're doing, man. Okay. And the payment is that penny, which is the kingdom of heaven, man. Salvation. All right. You see what I'm saying? And that time is near to come. It's right around the corner, man. All the signs are here. You know, the RFID microchip 
is right around the corner from being implemented on a worldwide scale. Uh, you see what Bill Gates uh, is doing. You see what the uh, the elites are doing, man. You know, the skirt is being raised on these devils, man. And it's the Lord just exposing them as he said he would, man. Okay? And we living in some real beautiful time, brothers. All right? So don't get shaken, man. You know? Uh, it's another scripture I want to bring out. Let me see. Um, uh, so should be somewhere possibly in Revelation. Oh, uh, there it is. Boom. Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry. And the nations are angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged. So that time is going to come where all these nations are going to be judged, man. All right, because they're the ones that are the dead. All right, all right, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. All right, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth all right so in the destruction of uh america when this place is destroyed simultaneously the servants of the lord the prophets okay and chosen saints which are going to be uh you know certain righteous men and women you know and children that make it up out of here man we're going to receive that 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 penny man the kingdom of heaven man all right you know for this for this work man so the answer to uh, KRS-One, is there a reward for teaching truth? Absolutely, and we're gonna receive it. We're gonna receive that reward very soon. And with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakat Wadash, Shalom.